The overall goal of this procedure is to separate the different types of cells found in the testes. First, harvest a mixed population of cells from the mouse testes. Load the cells and BSA gradient into the stay put apparatus. Now, allow the cells to sediment through the BSA gradient. Then, collect the fractions and combine them based on cell composition. Ultimately, velocity sedimentation with the stay put is used to separate different types of cells from the testes based on differences in size and density. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like fax, is that one can isolate large amounts of different cell types with fairly high purity using simple glassware and gravity. Secure the two 2 liter cylinders and the cell loading chamber to the top platform and connect all with two small pieces of tubing with tube clamps. Clamp all the tubes closed and seal the spout on the rightmost 2 liter cylinder. Place a small stir bar in the cell loading chamber and a larger stir bar in the leftmost 2 liter cylinder. Then Place the 2 liter sedimentation chamber on the platform. Position the metal baffle directly on top of the opening in the bottom of the sedimentation chamber to prevent vortexing of the liquid and disruption of the cell gradient during fraction collection. Now, put the lid on the sedimentation chamber. Apply a very small amount of vacuum grease to the ground glass joint of the three-way stopcock. Then, clamp the stopcock to the bottom of the sedimentation chamber, connecting the ground glass joints of the stopcock and the sedimentation chamber. Next, connect the cell loading chamber to the right outlet of the stopcock with tubing. Close the stopcock. Then, attach the cell fractionation tubing to the left outlet of the stopcock and clamp the small tube at the very bottom. Pour the 2% BSA solution in the left 2 liter cylinder. Pour the 4% BSA solution in the right 2 liter cylinder. Make sure there are no large bubbles in the tubing that connects these cylinders. Pour Krebs buffer into the cell loading chamber and fill the tubing connecting this chamber with the sedimentation chamber. Verify that there are no large bubbles that might disturb the gradient. If necessary, squeeze or flick the tubing gently to remove the bubbles. Confirm that all of the Krebs is in the tube and not in the cell chamber. Allow a small amount of Krebs buffer to flow into the sedimentation chamber. Then, drain almost all the buffer into the cell fractionation tubing in order to fill the tube and remove any large bubbles. Place the fraction collector directly under the sedimentation chamber. Check that all the fraction tubes are in place and cover with plastic wrap to prevent contamination. Decapsulate the testes in a separate plate containing 8 milliliters of Krebs. Make an incision in the thin membrane that surrounds the seminiferous tubules. With one pair of forceps, hold the membrane. Now, with another pair of forceps, push the tubules out of and away from the membrane. Transfer 4 milliliters of Krebs containing the tubules to each conical tube containing 25 milliliters of collagenase solution. Shake at 33 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes until the tubules develop a spaghetti-like appearance. Next, Allow the tubules to settle for 5 minutes to the bottom of the tube. Pour out the supernatant and wash twice with 25 milliliters of Krebs at room temperature, allowing the tubules to settle to the bottom of the tube each time. Leave approximately 5 milliliters of Krebs in each tube. After incubating the tubules with trypsin, use a wide bore pipette to agitate the solution containing the tubules 
pipetting them in and out approximately 10 times. The solution should begin to look more like a single cell suspension. Now, filter each 30 milliliter single cell suspension through a 100 micron mesh cell strainer. After combining the cell suspensions, count the total number of cells. Make sure the stopcock is positioned to direct the flow from the cell chamber into the sedimentation chamber. Turn both stir bar plates onto a low setting. Then, pour the cell suspension into the cell chamber. Open the stopcock for the cells to flow slowly into the sedimentation chamber at a rate of 10 milliliters per minute. Then, close the stopcock. To wash the cells out of the cell chamber, pour 5 milliliters of 0.5% BSA solution and drain into the sedimentation chamber at a rate of 10 milliliters per minute. Close the stopcock and repeat the BSA wash four more times. Now, open the clamps between the cell chamber and the two 2 liter cylinders to immediately drain the liquid into the sedimentation chamber at a rate of 40 milliliters per minute. Adjust the flow rate so it takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes to load the BSA gradient into the sedimentation chamber. Monitor for a thin, undisturbed layer of cells lying on top of the BSA gradient. Once most of the BSA is loaded, close the stopcock and turn it to the position that will allow liquid to drain from the sedimentation chamber into the fractionation tube. Now, turn off the stir plates and allow the cells to sediment for 1 hour and 45 minutes. After sedimentation is complete, attach the fraction tube to the fraction collector. Adjust the flow rate with the stopcock so that 10 milliliters per collection tube is collected every 45 seconds. Once all fractions are collected, Microscopically analyze the fractions for different cell populations. Different cell types can be distinguished based on cell size and nuclear morphology. To determine the purity of each fraction, transfer 10 microliters of DAPI stained cells onto a slide, place a cover slip, and analyze with a fluorescence microscope. Pull the fractions that are similar in size and nuclear morphology to create populations of cells. A typical preparation of approximately 22 testes with this stay put procedure yields approximately 10 to the 8th cells per spermatogenic cell type. Fractions can be analyzed quickly using a combination of light and fluorescent microscopy. Meiotic, spermatogonial, and somatic diploid cells are the largest cells found in the testes and will contain large nuclei that stain relatively homogeneously with DAPI. Round spermatids are smaller cells with smaller, round nuclei, generally with a brightly staining chromocenter. Condensing, elongating spermatids are small cells that have sickle-shaped nuclei. Once cell fractions are combined, purity can be further determined by western blot analysis of the cell lysates. Common markers of meiotic cells are the synaptonemal complex 1 proteins. Common markers of condensing spermatids are transition proteins or protamines. Once mastered, this technique can be done in 7 hours if it's performed properly. After its development, this technique paved the way for researchers in the field of spermatogenesis to explore cellular processes in different cell types from the testes.